All right, so here he is, the inimitable last style bender, Israel Adesanya, still undefeated as a mixed martial artist. DC, you tried to bring him in to emulate John Jones back in the day, and he's such a meticulous, thoughtful guy that he said no because Luke Rocco was in that gym and he thought he might have to fight him one day. He knew that at some point he would reach Luke Rocco in his division, so he said, you know what? I want to help you, DC, but I can't because of what's going to happen going forward in my career. He did not want to put Luke or himself in such an awkward situation. How about forward thinking? How about I'm forward thinking that that would have come to pass only a few short years later? But in Israel Asanya, you also have the mentality, but the fighting ability to become a UFC champion in only 12, 13 months. Well, you hear the pop from the crowd, DC, as Nate Diaz gets set to make this walk here tonight. You never know when is going to be the last time we see this guy compete, but there's a lot to like when we see Nate Diaz in the octagon. Nate Diaz is a savage, a guy that just epitomizes fighter from the attitude, the walk, the music. Everything tells you that when Nate Diaz shows up, you're getting ready to watch a fight. A fantastic striker and a great jiu-jitsu practitioner. Yeah. Nate Diaz is just a well-rounded fighter and one of the biggest stars in the UFC. We've seen the Stockton slap before. I'll set the total. It's just so disrespectful. Over under one and a half. So you think he throws it tonight? It's just so disrespectful, <laughs> but it's so Nate Diaz. All right, we'll see if he invokes the Stockton slap here tonight. But Nate Diaz is back and hopefully in a big way for his supporters around the world. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Diaz is four years his senior. Adesanya will have a four-inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender on a side. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Well, he's got the longer reach and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Diaz. Trying to establish that jab once again. Effective punch there by Adesanya. 
All right, throws a straight punch and lands. So that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Good takedown defense by Israel. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big kick land. Oh, big right hand, yes. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. So 31 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Ooh! Nice. Adesanya gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Diaz. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Adesanya. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Real quick leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back oh. to the ring. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, straight right. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Hook to the head there by Adesanya. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Huge block there. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Adesanya. No. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So, 100 minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And back to his feet. Wow. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Stop, stop. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. It's nothing. It's nothing. And just like that, here we go with round Ready two. Fight. Nate Diaz Ready. versus Ready. the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And a nice left hand there on the inside. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Diaz gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And there comes the separation now. Diaz gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick there by Adesanya. It's just hard to know what's coming, and there's no stop in this guy. I mean, there's no stop, and there's no tell. He's just at a different level when you're standing on the feet with Israel Adesanya. He's the last style builder. He's a character. He's, he, he, he just has it, man. He's that guy that gets people to tune in. So the unofficial numbers, 100. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Just over three minutes now to go. Rubber guard form now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get... Wow! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight,